let's give you County's starting lineup for tonight's game. Bit Yaros continues in goal. Back three, James Brown, Joe Lewis and Ryan Johnson. McCauley South of Hales, the genius from Wales, is on the right wing. Miles Hippolyte on the left. Callum Camps and Ryan Crowsdale in the engine room with Anthony Sarsovich alongside Paddy Madden to provide support for Kyle. What a great goal that was at the weekend from Wooden. Substitutes for County tonight, Ryan Rydell, Ollie Crankshaw, Connor Evans, Scott Quigley, Fraser Horsfall, Elliot Newby also making an impact from the bench at the weekend. He's named amongst the substitutes as his goalkeeper, Ben Hinchley. Stockport County going in search of their first away win in the Football League for more than 11 years. This is Stockport County Live. Tonight, a bit cold, a bit wet, a bit miserable, but enough about our co-commentator. It is Liam Richardson sitting alongside me tonight, County's uh, media man watching this one. And it's great to be at the Keepo Stadium. And this is why County wants to be back in the Football League for nights like this. Oh, he's back with Big Vic Yaros. What a kick that is. And a great flick on by Sarsovic, but South and Hales flagged offside. Jeffrey down in the dugout, like Dave Challoner, a former county player, albeit uh, Gary only actually played five games during a loan spell in 2001. He's a very, very good striker back in his day. 40 years of age now. He's come through. Oh, there's a shot from distance here. Well, it was an instinctive effort, that wasn't it, Liam? And uh, wasn't too far away. Yeah, it certainly was. Something of the, the John Rooney there yeah. from, from Paddy Madden spotted the goalkeeper off his line. 15 minutes gone, it's still 0 0. You know, I think the county certainly started the strongly the two teams in the opening minutes. And looked a good free kick. Quickly taken. Row again with the layoff. Maxwell back into his own half to Anderson. I'll tell you what, John, it might be, it might be close on the pitch right now, but there's only one set of supporters in, in the ascendancy at the minute. Fantastic North. on the clock, still nil-nil, Tomlin on the ball, playing from a deep lying position, what a pass from Tomlin, oh it was a heavy touch in the end, what a chance that was for the home side, something, I think he might be referencing that tackle attack the penalty area a few minutes ago, we didn't take a hefty blow, oh he's away now though, great skill to get away from Maxwell, Tommy Rowe tracking back, Almost conceded the corner, but a little back heel from Rowe means it's just a throw in. Clever from Rowe. County throw. Yeah, that was more like it from Macca getting the ball, knocking it past his man. Can only see me hurt, but. <laughs> Rowe and South of Hales in a real tussle, and the linesman spotted something. And he saw the reaction from South and Hales there and has flagged. And it's a free kick as a result to Doncaster Rovers. And I think the referee wants a word with the linesman about what exactly occurred in that exchange. It didn't look too much from here. No, I think both grappling with each other. I think I could just shoves Tommy Rowe away. And whatever a trailing arm caught him in the face, I don't know. Right in front of the linesman. South and Hales might be booked here, you know. He could be in a bit of trouble. Referee Declan Bourne is running straight towards the Welshman. It's a straight red. Wow. Well, it was... It was tantamount to nothing. Tommy Rowe was trying to provoke a reaction from South and Hales. He got one, but it didn't look that bad. Hurst. He's the son of uh, David Hurst, by the way. Ball out to the right. Noyle. Williams. Chance again for the back men to come forward. Biggins. Urging Clayton to join the attack. County finding it hard just to get a touch on the ball at the moment talked earlier about this big wide pitch but when you've got a, a man advantage the pitch can certainly 
I hope you win that way. And here's Maxwell's cross, finding Miller! 1-0. Right on cue. Intelligent ball from Maxwell. Picked out the run of Miller. And the ten men have conceded in the first half here at the Keep Moat Stadium. It's Doncaster Rovers 1, Stockport County nil. Away with it though. And there's the encouragement for Kelsey, you know, stay compact, stay in the game, and then it only takes a little more of that little slip on this wet surface to give Kelsey an opportunity. Here's Tomlin though, edge of the box, and try and curl one in here. It's hit the upright, comes out to Noyle, saved. It's a good stop by Vit Yaros. The first ball in from Tomlin found Biggins, Biggins with the strike, right footed, tried to glance it inside the far post, it came back off the upright, and then a terrific stop from Yaros to keep out the follow up shot. Well, I'm joking about 5-4, Don, Liam, I think that is the formation. Certainly no looks no that striker. Way. Yeah, no, it certainly looks that way, Paddy Mann is still playing as a, as a right winger almost, so damage limitation, I don't know, it's, it's a strange one. Sarsovic clearing the ball and there's nobody to clear it too. Some very, very interesting response from the county gaffer. County on the ball though as they break up a Doncaster attack. Sarsovic this time picking out Hippolyte in this left hand channel. And he's got to wait and wait and wait for people to arrive from midfield in support. Picked out the run of Camps who back heels it to Rydell! Yes! Oh yes! Well that's why County have done it! And Sarsovic has gone straight to the referee to say, there you go, you give them a decision, we'll give you a goal. Within a minute of the restart, County have levelled the game and it's substitute Ryan Rydell. Well Sarsovic started the move down the left hand side, Rydell just kept running. Hippolyte waited and waited for support. Rydell didn't stop running. Everybody obviously back to defend it. Clayton to take, but they've got options on the edge of the box with the, the spare man as well. Sheffield just pointed where he wants it to be delivered. Clayton has cut it back to the edge of the box. I thought he might. It's gone straight back to him from Clayton, from uh, Tomlin. He got it away. Tomlin though prods it back to Tommy Rowe. Great save, Bit Yaros diving to his left hand side, tips it round the upright. Tommy Rowe looking to inflict more damage on his former club, but Bit Yaros was equal to it. Throw it near side, and now it's uh, Noyle complaining to the lines when about some decisions. Clayton squares it for Anderson. Tomlin, distinctive figure in midfield. Goes for goal, hits the crossbar. What a strike from Tomlin that was. Yaros was beaten. The crossbar is still rattling now. He is a talent. And Chandler again in conversation with the fourth official. County on the ball. Brown, Hippolyte, first time. Oh, there's a run. pull back on the edge of the box. The referee says no. Well, Callum Counts, why would he stop? got the better of, of uh, Rochelle Williams, he got goal side, that went to ground. Clayton, to that left wing for Tommy Rowe, love the ball, Rowe checks back inside. First, Biggins, go for goal here, long range effort, I think Yaros saw it late, it almost bounced off his chest and it fell at the feet of Miller, who then he tried to bundle it into the back of the net, but he couldn't do so. Shaking away the same 5-4, 5-4 I should say. Yeah, all the crooks were on the right-hand side, and Elliot Newby on the left now. Yeah. Oh, looping cross, Agard, first touch, is to fire the ball across goal. Molyneux was sliding in to try and connect, but Agard steers it wide of the upright, it's a brilliant ball to him. Tussling in the 
the box. So it took a deflection on the free kick. I think Williams got his head to it, and it's an instinctive reaction from Vic Yaros. I think he used his shoulder in the end to bat it over the crossbar. He used all of his height to good effect there, but it is a corner. First pirouettes away from Evans. Has to play it wide to Molyneux. Molyneux to get it back on his left foot. That's exactly what he's done. Tomlin will square it. Chance for a shot here from distance from Clayton, but he decided not to take it on. Out to the left row, down the line, the cross from the left-hand side. Glanced on. Oh, and just wide from Anderson. It took a deflection, says the referee. But how did Anderson not score? The big centre half. It's going to be shown on this board because we are at 90 minutes. It's five added minutes. Uh, you can hear the reaction from the home fans. seen a physio in the whole game there's been one goal there's been a lot of flurry of substitution but most of those were in a triple change for the counter where has five minutes come from Rovers don't care because they're on the front foot with Tomlin here's Agar this could be it it is did it go in did it go in yes the substitute was scored County's resilience and strength has finally been broken the ball over the top, Agard ran onto it, and those county defenders look absolutely shattered. Heartbreak for the Hatters. Valiant effort, particularly in this second half. They've been beaten by two goals to one. The turning point in the game came early, though, midway through the first half. A red card, a very soft red card, shown to the Corley South and Hales after a clash with former county legend Tommy Rowe.